Uh, my project, Micro Recovery, is about using mycelium to recover metals from e-waste. Mycelium is the vegetative part of fungi. So when we think of fungi, we, including myself before this project, often think about the mushroom, which is just the fruit. But there's actually lots of stuff happening uh, underground. So mycelium are these networks of thread-like cells. They connect, for example, all the trees in the forest or in the park. So trees exchange nutrients and communicate with each other using this mycelium. And nowadays there's lots of fascinating collaborations between artists uh, and scientists and designers who use mycelium in really innovative ways. So there are people who use it to make artificial meat, to make leather substitutes, to make packaging, even bricks. Um, and I found out that mycelium has potential to recover metals from e-waste. Fungi are the circulatory and nervous systems of nature and the providers of nutrition, remediation, healing and spiritual awakening. Microrecovery is a speculative future that aims to heal our planet using mycelium, the vegetative part of fungi consisting of networks of thread-like cells. Today, among other things, mycelium can restore damaged environments, absorb radiation, recover metals, grow buildings and furniture, produce vegan leather, biodegradable packaging, and artificial meat. This chapter of Microrecovery deals with the fastest growing waste stream in the world, discarded electrical and electronic devices, known by the umbrella term of e-waste. Following the waste management hierarchy, the speculation offers a system for dealing with e-waste using mycelium in recycling and landfill remediation. The narrative also covers the societal and economic changes that we need to go through to turn micro-recovery from speculation into a probable future. To initiate a transition toward this vision, we share a library of relevant projects by various fungi enthusiasts, both connected to e-waste management and other fields. The goal is to spread the spores of wisdom connect the creative threads, and inspire more chapters of micro-recovery. When I found out that uh, mycelium has this potential to recover metals from ores, uh, I thought why not use it not only on our you know, natural reserves, but on e-waste, because e-waste is actually the fastest growing waste stream in the world. I was oblivious to it, but it turns out that we generate, you know, it was, I think, 59 tons of electronic waste uh, last year. And this number is growing and we have to do something about it. So um, my project is a speculation. So I've speculated the future in which um, we're using mycelium to heal our planet and to solve our problems, including the problem of e-waste. And I've uh, also considered like the societal and economic changes that we have to undergo in order for this uh, project to become viable. The preparation for the exhibition has been a little bit stressful uh, this time, to be honest, mainly because of all the uncertainty around COVID. Uh, we didn't know until basically the last moment whether it's going to happen, but it's happening. So even though we're planning to have everything online. So all of our projects are in the shape of a website, but it's a collaboration between, the exhibition is gonna be a collaboration between future design and fine arts. So the fine arts guys are gonna have all the you know, physical uh, projects such as sculptures and paintings and whatnot. Whereas we will have a projection. Um, each of us has their own individual videos. So you get kind of a glimpse into everyone's project. And we're going to try to make it atmospheric, so add some sounds and visual and see what works in the space. The challenging part really over the last 12 months has been that we haven't really met in person. We have a really amazing group, we're five students, and right now two of us are not even in Prague. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's been difficult to, you know, to connect and to stay on top of things. 
uh, in a way, but luckily everyone is responsible, so we're um, figuring it out. Well, each of us has prepared a video for the exhibition, um, and we called our exhibition Letters from the Future. So each of us got assigned a planet, so to say, that reflects our project, and you will just have to come and find out what it's going to look like. And what I would like to say to the audience, well, I think it's really exciting that finally things are opening up. You know, we can go to restaurants, to gyms, to cinemas, and to art shows. So I've really missed it myself personally. So I think for sure, if you get a chance, you should come and get inspired and meet some people, have some wine and enjoy our work. We've been working a lot on it. So yeah, I hope you come and have fun.